good day. So yung lesson natin for today ay asymptotes of rational functions. This happens to be the last lesson for the first quarter. Yung gusto natin matutunan ngayon ay ma-explain yung behavior ng isang function pag malapit na yung values niya sa asymptotes niya. So this would include both yung vertical and horizontal asymptotes or oblique asymptotes if applicable. And then two, we'll find the asymptotes of rational functions. So again, horizontal, vertical, or oblique. Kung ano man yung applicable. So first, Focus tayo sa vertical asymptotes. Tignan natin yung behavior ng function natin pag malapit siya sa vertical asymptote niya. Consider natin tong function na to, r of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1. And ito yung graph niya. Makita natin na yung function, that the function will be undefined when x equals negative 1. So we will draw a vertical asymptote here. So bakit ba nagiging ganito yung shape ng graph pag malapit siya dun sa vertical asymptote? What happens when x values are near? x equals negative 1. Let's take a look at a table of values. So here we have an x na yung values natin papalapit ng papalapit sa negative 1. Keeping in mind na hindi siya pwede maging negative 1 kasi magiging 0 yung denominator, magiging undefined yung expression natin. Since our denominator is x plus 1, titigan din natin yung values ni x plus 1. And then we'll take a look at the values of the function over here. So we take a look at a table of values. We have a column for x have a column for x plus 1, which is our denominator, and we'll take a look at the values of the function. So, when x equals negative 2, okay lang. Ang denominator natin negative 1. So, 1 over negative 1, we have a function value of negative 1. Then, let's get closer. Negative 1.5. Yung denominator natin, liliit. So, from negative 1, magiging negative 0.5. So, yung magnitude nung, nung function natin, medyo lumalaki siya. So, from negative 1, naging 2, dumoble. But notice, no, yung x natin, gagalaw tayo from negative 1.5 to negative 1.1. Mag-i-increase lang tayo ng value ng 0.4. Pero yung denominator natin, sobrang nilapit na siya sa 0. And that will mean, yung value ng function natin, yung magnitude niya, biglang magda-jump to negative 10. Yung next natin na step, it's just uh, from negative 1.1 to negative 1.01. So 0.9 lang yung difference. Pero yung denominator natin, na-divide by 10. So, na times 10 ngayon yung nilaki nung function natin. So, from negative 10, naging negative 100. Hindi na nga natin maipakita dito sa graph yung value na yun kasi sobrang nasa baba na. And then, sobrang liit lang na increase ng x. The denominator, na-divide ulit siya by 10. And yung function value natin, na-multiply siya ng 10. Negative 1,000 na. So, ang konti-konti lang ng, ng move ng x value natin, ang laki-laki na ng impact sa denominator. So, parang nag approach siya ng negative infinity. Tignan naman natin, pag nanggagaling sa right side, yung x values natin, papalapit sa ating vertical asymptote. So, ganun din, we take values of x, 0, then papalapit tayo na papalapit sa 1. Notice ang konti lang ng, ng difference sa step nito para lumapit sa negative 1. But our denominator is x plus 1. From 1, naging 0.5, naging 0.1, naging 0 0.01, na divide by 10 from 0 0.001, sa very small na increases in x. And it will have a respective impact dun sa value ng r of x natin. Except in this case, positive yung function values. So pansin natin from this graph, yung paglapit nung x value natin sa asymptote, hindi naman masyadong mabilis. Pero at some point, drastic yung pag-increase nung value nung function natin. You know. So let's try to explain no, kung bakit ganun yung behavior nung function natin pag malapit siya sa vertical asymptote niya. Kunyari, meron tayong rational function in lowest terms. So meron tayong numerator, meron tayong denominator. And in the denominator, we have a factor na x minus a para magkaroon siya ng vertical asymptote sa x equals a kasi undefined siya doon. Na kung papalapitin natin yung value ng x, papalapit ng papalapit sa a, if x is greater than a, nanggagaling siya doon sa right side, so, mas malaki yung x sa a, pero papalapit siya ng papalapit sa a. Papalapit ng papalapit yung x minus a sa 0, pero positive. Kasi mas malaki yung x sa a. Eh. Kung mas maliit naman si x kay a, so si x minus a, lalapit din siya na lalapit sa 0, pero negative yung value kasi mas maliit yung x kay a. In both cases, yung value nung x minus a, lumalapit siya lumalapit sa 0. Lumiliit siya ng lumiliit. E nasa denominator siya. Tapos minumultiply mo siya sa everything else na nasa denominator. So, the whole denominator will get closer and closer to zero. So, what will you have? 
as x approaches a, dun sa rational function natin, you have some stuff sa numerator, you have some other stuff sa denominator, you have a factor sa denominator that's becoming very, very small. Which should make your whole denominator very, very small. And if your whole denominator becomes very, very small, ano nangyari sa fraction mo? Naging very, very large yung magnitude niya. I say magnitude kasi pwedeng very large positive, pwedeng very large negative. Or we could say that it approaches infinity. Papalapit siya ng papalapit sa infinity. Ngayon, kung positive siya, we say it approaches positive infinity. Kung negative siya, we say it approaches negative infinity. And that is the behavior of our function pag malapit siya sa vertical asymptote. Dahil lumiliit na ng lumiliit yung denominator natin, lumalaki ng lumalaki yung function value, yung magnitude niya, papalapit siya ng papalapit sa infinity. Siyempre, hindi siya makakarating doon. But we say it approaches infinity. So here, I have an example of a rational function. No? And makita naman natin na near its asymptotes, lumalapit siya ng positive or negative infinity. I just want to show na it's possible na for a vertical asymptote, yung left at right niya, nagpupunta pareho sa isang sign ng infinity. In this case, they're both approaching negative infinity. Pwede ding opposite yung directions, like sa vertical asymptote na to, yung left side niya, papuntang negative infinity. Yung right side niya, papuntang positive infinity. In the second quarter, we'll learn how to graph these things para alam natin kung saan side ng infinity pumupunta yung function natin pag malapit sa vertical asymptote. So, that's it muna for vertical asymptotes. Let's take a look naman sa horizontal or oblique. We say horizontal or oblique kasi yung rational function natin hindi pwedeng parehong meron. Meron lang siyang isa. And the horizontal and oblique asymptotes, they sort of describe yung end behavior ng function natin. Kung ano yung nangyayari, Pag yung x natin, either sobrang laking positive na siya or sobrang laking negative. So let's just take a look at some examples. Then hanapan natin ang pattern mamaya. Here, I have a rational function na yung degree ng numerator mas maliit sa degree ng denominator. Yung numerator natin, degree 2, yung denominator, degree 3. So yung graph niya, eh, nakapansin natin habang lumalayo tayo, habang papalaki ng papalaki yung x sa both positive at sa negative, lumalapit yung rational function natin sa line na y equals 0, sa x-axis. So, this is true for all rational functions na mas maliit yung degree ng numerator sa denominator. Kung equal naman yung degree ng numerator sa denominator, like in this example, ang degree ng numerator 2, degree ng denominator 2, ang behavior ng function natin habang lumalaki yung x, both positive and negative, ay lumalapit siya sa isang line, horizontal line pa rin, except hindi na zero. So here we have our function approaching y equals 3 halves. So it's a non-zero constant. Saan kaya galing yung 3 halves? Ang clue ko for this ay titikin natin yung coefficients, yung leading coefficients, 3 tsaka 2. Hmm, suggestive, no? Kung saan ang gagaling yan. Now, it's possible that the degree of the numerator ay mas malaki sa degree ng denominator by 1. By 1 lang. Hindi muna in general. If that is the case, like here, we have x cubed yung leading term ng numerator, x squared yung leading term denominator. So the numerator as degree 3, the denominator as degree 2, mas malaki lang ng isa yung degree ng numerator. Ito yung graph ng function na yan. At makita natin habang lumalaki yung x, both positive and negative, parang lumalapit siya sa dashed line na to. Y equals x minus 2. So we could say that for the case na mas malaki lang ng isa yung degree ng numerator sa denominator, ang horizontal asymptote natin ay isang line na non-zero yung slope. So let's describe yung horizontal and oblique asymptotes. Ang horizontal at oblique asymptotes, they're imaginary lines. So hindi talaga sila part ng graph ng function natin na ina-approximate or ina-approach ng rational function natin pag yung x natin mapunta ng positive infinity or negative infinity. So here, this is an example of a horizontal asymptote. And here, this is an example of an oblique asymptote. Hindi siya horizontal. It's important to note here, no, na unlike sa vertical asymptotes, na bawal tawirin rin kasi magiging undefined yung function natin. Wala tayong ganong restriction for horizontal and oblique asymptotes. Pwede mong i-cross. Here, it crosses this point it crosses this point. Now, let's get an idea bakit nagiging ganyan yung behavior ng horizontal asymptote. Let's take a look at this function. f of x equals x plus 5 over x minus 5. May nabanggit ako kanina about watching the coefficients, no? 3 over 1. Tapos parang hindi kita sa graph, pero parang nasa y equals 3 yung graph natin. 
let's put on increasing and increasing magnitudes of the values of x. So negative 100, negative 1,000, negative 10,000. Notice na paka konti lang ng binabago nung value nung function natin. 2.8, 2.98, 0.1 lang yung increase pero 900 units yung binago nung x. Tapos from negative 1,000 to negative 10,000, parang 0 0.01 lang yung value na nadagdag. On the right side naman, 100, 3.2, 1,000, 3.02. Ang konti lang ng binaba kasi decreasing yung graph natin din. Eh. Then, ito halos uh, 9,000 units yung ginalaw natin sa x, pero napaka-konti yung ginalaw niya sa y. So, parang lumalapit lang siya, lumalapit sa 3. As our x values lumalapit sa both negative and positive infinity, yung value ng function natin, papalapit ng papalapit sa 3. 